off? Uh, you asked me about the Black King. If, you found, if I found anything important. Yes. Or anything good this time. Yeah. Hmm. And then I thought about it for Mark a second. Off. Hmm. They're mostly rumors, I guess. I mean the exact what? stuff that would make people, you know, not want to talk to you. Yeah. I guess I'll learn nothing new. Nothing of importance. There's a squint. I'm going to roll against that. If you want to roll, what? Deception? Because uh, technically you did. I, I guess, but I'm not trying. I guess it's. I guess Arthur doesn't believe it's important rather than so he's lying. Persuasion? Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Just barely. So Damn. there's a look of not judgment, but concern from Lex. And doesn't say anything and just waits. Mm. Do I pick that up? You do. Cool. Uh, well, I guess this is one thing, but I don't think I should say it because it's not for me to say. Yeah? And what would that be? Or is like it I... because... Or is it because it's one of those things you always do of, oh, it's something so precious to someone. You know that guy's not good, right? Yeah. Or is it about mm. someone else? No, it's... Mm. I, mm, I feel like I'm just being... This is a selfish request of... Please don't pray any further. Not for... Well... Yeah, for my sake. Please. <laughs> Roll persuasion, low DC. That works. There's a sigh and just fine, fine. Won't pry. You do you. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Because, well, because what happened there was my fault. So I had to fix it. So you got into trouble again. Yeah. Sounds fair. But, um... Hey. Listen. Uh, that teacher's aide that, came, that goes around here? Um, what's his name? Just snaps a couple of times, like... Uh, and then just raises a hand over and just... Asian! Just doesn't get an answer. Oh, whatever. Uh, it starts with a J? Yeah. Um, I don't remember. I don't see him very often. Jolt! Uh, oh. Yeah, Jolt. Uh, Arthur, you see Jolt around constantly, going from classroom to classroom, rarely in a good mood, for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. Always grumbling about why the hell am I here. Kind of attitude. Oh, him. A regular teacher's aide, one of the very few that shows up. Mm hmm. So, but, um, what, what about Jolt? Jolt said that there's a grudge match going on between the twins again later on tonight. Really? Well, why? You know, it's their usual parade. You know, every so often. I guess so. Um, I guess, how, how's your little, how's the gloom thing going? Oh, right. Um, shuffles around some of the books and picks up a different one than the one he was reading. 
And this one has a red cover with a couple of scrawls on it of golden filigree. It looks way too fancy to be talking about gloom or heartless. But he says, this one's a scholar's collection. I may or may not have borrowed it from the library. But don't worry, I'll return it. Um, um yeah. <laughs> it's sealed. As per usual. And then just winks at you. <laughs> but this one's talking about... It doesn't make any sense. It's the weird thing. It's talking about days where... Heartless and gloom used to be mindless. They used to follow some sort of person. You know? Really? Yeah. I, I would assume they would be have to be very powerful then. Right? They'd have to be some sort of, you know, queen or king. And then okay. just makes another face. Like king of the glooms. Maybe, maybe not. Come on, like it doesn't line up. I mean, it's substantial at best. And gives you a look of come on. Yeah, I mean, it's just the one thing that's very. I mean, plus they're not the... They can't be the only ones. Or, yeah. Okay. Well, I also have something on the, the other ones. What they, they have a name, but everything that I keep finding on them keeps... I can't understand it. Not fully. But they have a name, apparently. And picks up a different book. This one with white and silver text, which is a little hard to read, especially on beige background. He seems to have very little trouble reading it, as per usual, with his n normal reading style. And he says, okay, so this this page right here, and he, fl and he flips open to a page near the start, it says that these spirits, these entities that result of pure willpower happen when will itself from a person finds that the person itself is no longer fit for its own will. That doesn't make any sense because will is from what the upperclassmen said is memories. How can memories just leave? That is strange, is it? Does it have any name to these kinds of entities? And he starts skimming through the pages. I'm going to give you the choice, uh, Arthur. You want me to roll again and see if it succeeds at a cost? Or do you want that to be the role? Uh, the role. That leave it as be. He clicks his tongue and goes, "I, there's something here, but I can't read it." Can you take a look at this? Okay, and he sure. tilts the book towards you. Can you read Solus? Uh, hmm. What would prompt that? It'd be draconic. Yeah. You should be able to read it. I have an answer, yes. Because of what race you chose. Mm -hmm. But, um, you look at it, and it, it comes a little... It's a little hard at first because you're not used to reading this style of text. It's a little old. It's a little ancient. But it comes to you in that way of Percy Jackson reading the script at first. It comes a little jumbled. Like it, it looks 
weird at first, but you manage it. And it reads... Soulless. It... It looks like it says... Soulless? And Lex is just staring at you. Not in a judgmental way, but in an awe-stricken way. Like, my best friend is so cool kind of way. Yucks. You can read that? I can't, I can't even read that. I, I guess I can. It's, it takes a little time. Well, I'm not going to make you read anymore, so you can practice that on your own, but here, and hands you the book. The white and silver book with, uh, with cream background. It's kind of eye-searing, but the front page says, Dialect of the Soulless, as you look at it for a little, bi a little while. Guess, hmm, guess we'll practice this. See if I can get any more information. I wouldn't I suggest it. reading it here, though. Apparently, things get a little weird in this area. Weird? Yeah, every time I've tried to read something on that and taps the book things don't come up right it, the information itself doesn't want to be read huh i guess what would i i guess i wouldn't find somewhere out of not reach out of the way i guess Somewhere, because I feel like someone, because this is a bar, borrowed book, right? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> I have to be careful while I read this. Jin speaks up out of nowhere and says, you'd have to find place, some place forgotten, yeah? Yeah, I guess that would, could work. Oh, Jesus. That happened again. My gone. I don't think it likes him very much today. It's being a little bit of a bitch. It's fine. This is the third time now. But Mike is a bitch. Yeah, I don't know why he's doing that. Um. But Jin just goes. You'd have to find some place forgotten, yeah? So, ain't there a place like that on campus somewhere? Where? Well, it's forgotten. So, follow your instinct. Or don't. And Lex just goes, not helpful, thank you. Very cryptic. I mean, to be fair, he did say it was forgotten. Yeah, but he knows about it. He knows a little bit of it. Well, you Jen can is still leaning back. <laughs> Where'd you hear this My from? God. Doesn't answer you, still leaning back into the pillows. Cool. Uh, I guess I'll... go off and try to find this place. You have fun with that. I'm going to keep studying whatever might be in these books. All right. I, I guess I'll get back to you on what I find. And about this forgotten place. Yeah. By all means. Be careful, okay? Don't start any fights you can't handle. That's not the main objective. Well, you seem to be keen on starting fights, so at least start one you can handle, jackass. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Feel free to leave. Boop. Make a perception check as you leave. Okay. Doop. Doop. Damn it. Nothing's wrong. Keep going. Okay. Which way are you headed? Uh, that way? I guess so. Where are you trying to go? I guess he said follow my instincts, so nowhere in particular. Which is, I know, a bad answer, but... Roll survival with advantage. You... Follow your instincts, Arthur. And it's... You head to nowhere in particular. And... Nowhere in particular is very vague. You have a book in hand that you seem to only be able to read for whatever reason seems to be inside of you. And you know that. That's an instinct that you have. And... You walk past teachers, past trees, down walkways that are paved eventually into gravel that isn't, and then into dirt and grass. And you realize you don't know where you are. And the place around you is unkempt, like it's been forgotten. I guess this is what he meant. Uh, so it's I'm actually setting that up right now. There's an actual cool. map for it. At the time you're done walking, it is nearly dusk. You can see the moon. You are alone. What's this? Do I see peace? It, from your perspective, it looks like a ruined statue of some kind. I guess I'll, well, let me just zoom this and I'll read the thing, I guess. Go hop, hop, hop. Ooh. Little wet foot. Is there like an, uh, a plaque or an engraving on it? Make an investigation check. You don't see one. Was it like a broken statue or? It looks ruined is all you can tell. Hmm. can't make out a face. What's it in the shape of? A general is shape. It is in the shape of a person. Currently, it looks like it is sitting. But you can't make out a face. Or any mm -hmm. details. You're not sure if that is because the lighting is wrong, or you came at the wrong time of day, or because it is just that badly ruined. 
I guess I'll just sit here and uh, take a closer look at the book. Roll. I'll let you decide. Investigation, insight, or perception? You're trying to read. You're trying to focus on what's in front of you. Trying to pay attention to what you're reading. But it's silent. It is eerily silent. And you realize that's because you're not alone. You haven't been for about 10 minutes now. Uh. Horrifying. <laughs> it's true. Because it's the middle of the night. It's about just past dusk at this point, yeah? Hello? Is there anyone there? For a moment. For just another... beat of silence. There's nothing. And there is a... <clears throat> Sorry. Can you recognize that voice? Oh, shit. <laughs> is that who I think that is? Behind the statue is someone leaning. Can you recognize that voice? Just, he's been standing there the entire time. Is this another place you frequent? To get some peace and quiet? Yes. What are the odds that this happens twice? Do you believe in fate? I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> Sorry for disturbing your peaceful place. Mine? Hardly. This place is not mine anymore, at least. Why is that? There's a soft laugh. Well, I'm king of the glooms. I would peace ever come to a man like the devil. And pushes off the statue and disappears into a shadow, which there are many at dusk, and disappears across the across the small pond slash lake. And just stands there. Hey, you would know anything about this statue? What was that, Cade? Do you know anything about this statue? Uh, a little bit. Why do you ask? I'm just interested. I just happened upon this place, so I'm a little curious. You happened upon a place even the headmasters have forgotten about? I find that doubtful. I mean, I was just told that this was, place was forgotten. 
and to follow my instinct. So, I generally didn't think I was actually going to make it here. If one person remembers, then it's not forgotten, Arthur. Well, it's not truly forgotten. What are you reading? I'm curious. Uh, just a book a friend let me borrow about something called Solus. Solus. Yeah. You shouldn't be concerning yourself with that. I mean, it's no concern now. Again, another thing. <laughs> Curious. It'll kill Your me. Curiosity. Beat me to it. And you're. Got... You're going to end up in all of the wrong places, Arthur. It seems like I have been. Especially since I almost screwed up uh, earlier today. That depends entirely on how you view screwed up. I almost ruined a, a place where you uh, could rel not relax, rest. I do not get rest, no rest for the wicked, after all. I guess not. I mm. I mean, what's so concerning about this book? About the soulless? Well, they're not exactly fond of me. And chuckles as you notice he's been walking. Just not a particular pattern, just you did move across the small lake pond area and is just walking to be in your periphery this time. Would Don't know if it's a courtesy or if he's just walking. Mm. Would it have something to do with being gloom? Maybe. No one likes a gloom, especially not when you're king of it. Glooms are nightmare incarnate, after all. They show you your worst fears. You know? Even with a hand gesture of, you know, half jazz hands, half in, uh, making a wide hand gesture of, ooh. That's it. I mean, that's, nightmares are... Necessary. Stops walking. <laughs> what do you mean nightmares are necessary? They balance out all of the good dreams, so it's... It's like light and darkness. Not particularly bad in any way, either one. But... They balance each other out. You have a very strange mindset. Yeah, I get that from my friend a lot. Your friend? Is... are they the one that told you to come out here? Not particularly, no. I just... They just didn't want me to... read it there for... It felt... Like, the place didn't want me to read. Well, the book didn't want me 
the knowledge. I'm not exactly sure. Oh. Oh, that's why. Cursed woman. And keeps walking. Woman? Yes. Ooh. It's none of your concern. You can read as much as you'd like here. She does not care for this place as much as I do not care for it either. Guess I won't pry. <laughs> uh. Hmm. He just takes a seat where you can easily see him. He's just gonna hang out. Yep, unless you ask him questions. Cool. I guess I'll try to read again. This time, no role required. You, you easily read that this is a book about the souls. And you can read it with actually incredible ease, even without the Percy Jackson bullshit, but from before. It just comes naturally, as if the person about 30 feet away from you, the V35, is acting as a translator of some kind. And just read very easily in simplified notes you know, spark notes over here, that the soulless are a type of serpentine, almost draconic entity of some kind that are formed from the very essence of willpower from another person, leaving behind the husk of an individual named Mindless. And a soulless is usually the memories and emotions of an individual seeking out a new host to give them more definition and form. The stronger a soulless is, the more liability they have to become their own individual. The soul, even the soulless have an opposite. The mindless. Is there anything on the mindless? Or you try to seek out information on the mindless in this book. Mm-hmm. Full investigation. It's far and few between, but there are mentions of the mindless being husks of their former selves. They are not rage-filled, but they are wild and chaotic, and they act purely on instinct and drive. They are who they are if they did not have... Not self-preservation, but survival instinct. They will act as if they would if they felt the need to protect what is rightfully theirs. Including themselves and others. So it's like a, a few bits of knowledge of this? Yes. I do not... not currently have any other access to any other information. So there must be an well there not must there could be another book that are about mm -hmm. the mindless. Cool. 
Mm. After reading, how 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 long would I have read? It is well into the night. It is about two hours past past dusk. Well into the night. I guess I'll. And and the Black King is still just waiting. I guess I'll close the book, and like, I guess I'll head to my dorm. Well, and in the process of that, like, be like, thanks for letting me intrude and help, uh, helping, question mark? No worries. If it helps, it helps. Just don't get yourself in trouble. Uh, you sound like my friend again. Just tilts his head. Seems confused by the bit about being a friend. No insight roll required. Just as soon as you said you sound like my friend, he tilted his head. And... He told me not for, he also told me not to get in trouble. He's a good friend then. What does that make you? It's just a sad smile. Someone you shouldn't associate with. I think it's far too late for that. Not too late for anything. You're still a first year. Maybe so. It's back. Static. Ugh. But you're free to go back to your dorms. All right. Do you want me to move on the map? No. Uh, you were told that there was going to be a grudge match. Do you want to head there? Actually, yes. I will ask everyone. Do you want to go to the grudge match? You would have My been God. told by upperclassmen that there would be a gr grudge match. My God. I'm already there. <laughs> My God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I'm going to put the map up. I want you guys to place yourselves where you would be. You can't be in the middle circle, okay? Them's the rules. Oh, okay. Ooh. This will be... Who knows? Mm -hmm. One day I'm gonna fucking rattle your bones for this shit. Yeah? Stop using Genshin character. Is that... No. Is that Paris. specified... Fucking Giyu. No. I'm sorry, what now? You're Is that Yasified Giyu right fucking? <laughs> Who's Giyu? I don't uh, know. Demon Slayer. Ah. Uh, maybe. There's also Giyu Long like right there, bottom. And earlier in the cafe, there was Bayou. Um, Baizo? Baizo, yeah. Boogie, woogie, woogie, you've missed every single hit. <laughs> am am 
You gotta right. click from the name, not the picture. Okay. I, okay. Oh shit. I didn't see this oh, person. Oh shit. Oh. Sorry, I I don't know a whole lot about the. Look, it's, it's Lilith. A funny app. I think that's Lilith, right? Yep, that's Lilith. Bitch. It's also, bitch. how the hell did that happen again? What did? Ah, Eating okay. him again. Thank you. <laughs> Two of the people in here know why that's a thing. Know what? <laughs> Two of the people in here know why that's a thing. <laughs> Cherry and Nia. <laughs> Sh shut. Don't put me on the spot like that. Blurses you with information. Ah! Tron's into non existence. <laughs> Nia apparently has forgotten the entire thing. Good. It fell out of her brain. Okay, so you guys all show up to the grudge match. And. Some of you have to be told where the grudge match arena is, because you're new, you would have no idea where it is. And when you're shown, you realize, oh god, they actually have a place for upperclassmen, or any really, any classmen to fight? They're dedicated to making sure that people don't die. And it occurs to you, the twins? are in the middle of the arena and the person sitting on top of the platform is one of the teachers and they look so tired <laughs> <laughs> oh shit here we go again pretty much and you can already hear bickering going back and forth between the twins and it doesn't seem to be in common. It seems to be in Heartless. What are they saying? <laughs> Heartless is abyssal, yeah. 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 Shit. Hold on, hold on. Can't remember. If I recall correctly. Oh shit, yeah, I can't. I, can, I do have Heartless on mine. <laughs> I can hear them. So, who can understand them? Sabasa can! I know who can out of the NPCs, so... Yeah. That's all? Amelia could, but she's not there. <laughs> oh, good. So... You two. You here between the twins... Just... From Killian, an upperclassman... <clears throat> who is a very brash individual, just goes... Hey, oh yay! It is time for you to get your ass fucking whipped this time! And Yeva just smiles and goes, You first have to hit me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> then just, The fuck do you mean I have to hit you? And then there's the response of, You're, You chicken shit, you couldn't hit me if you tried. Which the teacher is currently having the the look of I can fucking hear you, you absolute fucking godless heathens. <laughs> Subasa also has that look of I can hear them. Is that allowed? You have that visible look on your face. 
does Subasa look like the kind of person who could hide that sort of thing? Raz, on the other hand, is as is leaning as far as, as she can over and just get him! Get him! <laughs> Are you saying that to the girl twin or the boy twin? The girl twin. <laughs> I.S. Gay power. I'm going to <laughs> violently yell. Not to either one of them, but at both of them, as confusing as can be. I heard the other one said they bet 50 bucks on them losing. Don't fucking lose. Roll charisma and deception. <laughs> Shit, here we go. This can only go well. Ooh, that's a 10. Why do you have a 2 charisma, man? Don't worry about it, bitch. For the type of person you, you, sh you are, you should definitely have a higher charisma. Well, nobody said he was a good salesman. Great. <laughs> I'm more violent than I am good. Make all salesmen. Oh, no, a snake oil salesman would have a full charisma modifier, all five points in that. Look, it's going to be a, after, after level three, it's going to be a plus four, so fuck off. So, I have a question for you. Do you want this to succeed? I would love for it to succeed to see the outcome of what they do. And if it fails... I'm gonna pull out a mystery box and says, two free mystery boxes for whoever wins first. You want to add that in? After, if it fails. Well, currently it's a fail. Then I'm adding it in. You see Killian? snap his attention to you, grin, and Yeva just frowns. I wave the fucking mystery box in her direction. Tauntingly. <laughs> and the teacher, who some of you would recognize as second years as Vortex, Professor Vortex, the cleric teacher, just sighs and goes, All right, get to it. We don't have all night. And then just in a blur of motion, Gillian snaps to attention and rushes forward. But I want you guys to understand this is all happening in the span of 12 seconds. So I'm going to roll four rolls in a row. Oh boy. Hold on, my grandma has been issues. <laughs> My grandma just got stumped by a push and twist wall. <laughs> Oh, what did I miss? Uh... Nothing, to be fair. Fair enough. So, you, I'm going to describe what just happened. In the span of 12 seconds, Yeva activated her Keyblade's ability right before Killian rushed forward with his Blitz form and decided to attack as many times as he could before realizing that it was a moot point. 
realizing, oh, all of the damage was negated. Steps back. And Yeva reaches out with one hand and goes, oh, no, you thought that was going to work? And cast Chill Touch. Right before he leaves. Which, because of how their system works, automatically hits because he's a dumbass. If I recall correctly, that is a D6 or a D8. I don't remember Chill Touch. Chill Touch is a D6, depending. Yeah, D6 con save. Thank you. These motherfuckers are absolutely showing that they mean no injury to each other. <laughs> the twin energy of, we're here for a show. <laughs> um. <coughs> so, in, in that span of 12 seconds, how is everybody reacting to... Actually, roll insight, whoever's here. Alright. <laughs> it fucked. That was a You recognize immediately that this is all for fun and games. These twins have no intention of either winning for something or losing for something. This grudge match is something that is repeated, replayed, redone repeatedly for anybody who wants to see it. Which is why most of the people here are first years or second years who wants to see who's going to piss off who first. I'm going to politely pull out a fake mystery box, set it on the ground, and just go, ah, this isn't fun anymore, and then walk off. Do I recognize the person next to me? Uh, this motherfucker right here? You do not. I'm gonna go ahead and try and politely tap their shoulder from this point while heading over here. See if they've got a loose wallet when they turn. Roll sleight of hand. Seventeen. He turns to face where you had been before, and and you just yoink, take the money pouch. I take about half of it, and then I just drop it about eh, ten feet away from him. You get about five hundred. And you know, can I try to roll to see if? that uh, he saw if Arthur saw that. Don't worry, <laughs> Arthur. I'm coming your way, bud. No, no, no. I told you. <laughs> Go ahead and roll perception. <laughs> yeah. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Damn it. I can't see. Nope. Damn it. way to... I'm not gonna fuck with this girl. She looks like she's bad news. I'm not gonna fuck with her. Which one? Yes. The one... Both of them. This one and this one. Nuh-uh. They got weird tokens about them. Not testing no luck. But I am going to politely walk up to this kind sir. Try my thing again. Yeah, I'm sure he has to roll for this. <laughs> I'm already ready whenever you are, bud. 
Would it be perception to stop, right? Perception against sleight of hand. Oh. You're probably gonna win this. Oh, you're definitely winning this one, buddy. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. So, all that happens is you catch me tapping your shoulder. No, here's the fun <gasps> thing. Shit. I almost got away. Metal Gear Solid Alert noise. Well, you're screwed. <laughs> Just the slow head turn of a woman who looks to be in armor and the three of you you Lex and Arthur recognize oh fuck that's a knight Tom Barry just gives a smile just a joke just a joke I take nothing just a joke. Just trying to go talk to my friend over there. And he's pointing ironically towards Tsubasa. Oh boy. It's on the wrong end. There's a squint. Is that why you took the other person's? They owed me money. They bought from me, they owed me money. Roll deception. There's a smirk. Okay. Go ahead then. As I pass by her, I'm no, going to... Before you are, can I take his shit? I'll slide a hand against perception. <laughs> I have a better slide of pattern than you. Heart of the cards, I believe. You have a much better slide of hand than me. <laughs> this is what I planned. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to take and what is on you? Take the wallet back. What? Yeah, I want to do that. Well, well, here's the problem. I was actually planning to fucking bribe this one, so I already have my, my wallet in my hand. All that's left is the Tomberry shit, so you, there, what you have access to is a kitchen knife, a magic lantern, and <laughs> there is a, actu there's actually a locket on me. A locket, a random chance lantern, and a kitchen knife. All that shit sounds sentimental, though you wouldn't take it. I didn't know you were gonna steal from me. I was already getting ready to bribe this woman. So I was gonna take head. that goddamn money and give it back to everybody else. Hey, some of them actually bought that shit. I'm gonna bribe her half the money I stole. I didn't know you were gonna try it. Is that a good enough roll? This fucking. Do you just want to take the money out of the pouch that's in my hand? <laughs> Yeah, is that a good enough I'm role? okay with that if that's what you want to do. Yes, that's good enough. Okay. How much that's money the goal. are you taking? I don't know how much you took. 500. 500, and I was going to give 350 to the nice lady so I don't get in trouble. 500 altogether? That, uh, not altogether, that's just what I stole from this poor schmuck. Damn it. So I have to... I have a... I, I don't remember my exact amount of money. I know somebody bought some boxes, and I forget what we started out with. I'll take... 130. Not 30. 530. How much did we start out with? Money-wise? It's whatever you decided to play the games with, and then whatever you decided uh, was bought from you. I'm just gonna take the I money. Any of the games, though. I'm mm -hmm. just gonna take the money that you stole from that guy, and I'm just gonna fucking sneak it back to him. Okay, so whatever you that have is. Be richer. Cool. You did also get. Uh, 200 then 300 from 
Everett, your general, remember? Right. So 200, 300, 500, that'd be 500 is yoinked, and the boxes were 200 apiece. So I should have, before he yoinks it, 1,200? Okay, right? so now I have hundreds. <laughs> I'm gonna tighten my hand on the pouch, fucker. <laughs> you could've gotten more. I, that's not what I'm here to do. But I am going to make my way to the night and drop accidentally 350 and walk over to Subasa. And Arthur will, <laughs> will go back to that <laughs> guy. Is the wallet, I'm assuming the wallet's still there on the ground. Yes. Cool, so he'll grab the wallet, put the blade back in, and be like, Hey, it looks like you dropped this. The temptation to do something silly is ridiculously strong right now. Shameless enabling, do it. There's just a look of shock and then just oh hey thanks dude it means a lot and just takes this stuff back whenever you need something just call me all right uh i'm i'm a third year My name's lawrence i'm arthur nice to meet you it's really no problem chair man see you later you sound upset when you said that. No. See I'm you not. later. Hey, I'm sure. Just a salute of a wave. And just... I'm a very cheery individual of the third year. Wait, go back to my friend. Yeah. No, Lauren. No, right. This one upside down. Lauren. It's not a missile. It's a bucket. As. Yes. <laughs> Make a perception check. <laughs> yes. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm hooting. I'm hollering. I'm, I'm into it. Uh, I'm into the fight. I think it's for real. <laughs> Want to know something worse? Oh yeah. In the next twelve seconds, I'm going to do something truly terrible. <laughs> while you guys were doing that, was anybody paying attention to the fight? Me, Subasa. <laughs> Not fully, but maybe Tan glanced at it while he was trying to look away from the knight. He just attempted to bribe. I'm pretty sure Arthur was completely focused on that action. <laughs> You're going, you were all going to recognize this type of role very quickly. Right? Oh no. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. It's a lot of faces. <laughs> no. Yeva holds, Yeva holds out a hand and goes, All right, that's enough. I've had enough of your shit right now, little brother. And just. A small black dot appears in front of one of her fingers, and he just goes, Oh, what is that supposed to do? Scare me? And there's an explosion. <laughs> and you all see round 
this space right here. Because they're he never backed up. He was taunting the entire time you guys were doing your own thing. And she got fed up with it. And since she has negation still up, she did not take but eight points of that damage. She took all of it and gets thrown back. There's just a crash of rock and the parts of steel and rubble. And Vortex jumps to their feet. Goes, when did you learn that spell? He's like, I have known this spell for a while, Professor. Just, <sighs> Killian, are you alright? And just, Ugh. Yes, I'm gonna beat the shit out of my sister. It doesn't move. Can I get inside the sister? You can. Ready for a low roll, won't you? Was joking. Come on. Fuck it. She Dick. seems vaguely annoyed, but you can't see anything pass up. Arthur. Yes. Lex looks concerned. What's wrong, Lex? It's... I... I didn't know anybody knew how to do anything like that. Normally that spell doesn't work like that. What's the spell? I, I, I can't cast it yet, but I've read about it. It's, um... It's... Uh, hey, Eva! And she turns for a second. Yeah? It, you just cast Fireball, yeah? Something like that. Why? Just asking. But yeah, it's Fireball. Why is it different? Everyone has their own unique little twist on a spell. I guess so. I guess that's the case. Arthur, you're close enough to have listened to that full insight. This is my fault. When she had said something like that, something sounded off. Not in the sense of she wasn't herself or anything, but it sounded smug. Like someone who had discovered something new. Something unique? Yes. Something that someone would disguise as a, as a fireball and then be like, <laughs> to themselves. Hey. Hmm. I'll investigate later. Killian has not moved. And. Raz, no roll required. You see a man step up to the railing and just stand there. With a large pole arm in one hand. Boy, are you getting up? Just yeah, I'm getting up. Well, you're sure as hell on the ground. You need some help over there. Nope. Got it. Vortex. Yep. I got it, Jolt. 
and hops down. With a kind of heavy landing that someone that is only wearing really heavy armor that has been made to look like casual clothing can only be doing. And just, all right, kid, enough. You've clearly gotten your shit rocked for the seventh time this month. And it's worse because of you. How are you doing this? And then cast Kiraga. It's enough. You have a UN. And she just grins. Told you I get you. And Jolt kind of hops down. He goes, Yep. Yeah. Kinda got a question for you though. What was that spell you cast? Fireball. Was it? And just steps up to her. And looks around the room. Everybody out. I gotta talk to a student. Well, I guess it's time to scatter then. It's the end of the fun. <clears throat> Everybody scatter! <laughs> it's the fuzz! <laughs> Before Tom Barry leaves, he's gonna pull out a, an actual mystery box, not a rigged one, and toss it into the ring. Man of his word. Subasa is Eva? wondering who the fuck is this person and why'd they come over by me? <laughs> <laughs> Tom Barry just immediately arm around Subasa. You wanna make 200 bucks? Pretend you know me. Um. Uh, okay? Smile and laugh. So, TG just gets the most uncertain, mildly terrified first year smile. Yeah, just like. What you have to do? I'll just win it at night. Subas is just in the mood right now of maybe if I just listen, he won't hurt me. Great, this Hopefully is I rolled too low. <laughs> so, that was a general feel for the room of whatever the hell's happening with those two over there. Hello? 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 Hello. My, internet, my internet just cut out three times back to back. I think I'm done for tonight. Oh. oh. Okay. Unfortunate. All right. So I, I'm going to be restricted to just vocals. Alrighty. Like, it, it's going up and down. I don't know what the fuck happens. It's happening. It's fine Fridays and Saturdays, but this is... Oh, right, yeah, it's Monday. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm gone for today. I'm, well, gone from the roll 20 at least. Yeah. Oh? So, is everybody going to leave or is some people going to just stay behind? I, I, I guess Yubasa is leaving with, <laughs> with TJ. Just dragged along. As he passes the night, Tsumasa just gives the look of just the tiniest, most pathetic help. The moment the help, the moment the help look goes off, just whispered five hundred instead. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. I know that uh, Keyblade Knight was focused on. TJ, but they did they notice what uh, Arthur did? Yes. They've oh, got like 32 okay. passive or something. Yeah. It's 
asking my question. You will also leave. X is going to follow you, like a dutiful best friend. So, which way are you headed? Where are you headed, Prisai? I mean, it's <laughs> even more dark since we're probably back to the dorm. You technically don't have to. I mean, technically, yeah, but, you know, I don't know. You gotta be a good student! Okay. So is everyone headed back to their dorms? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Colin's not heading back to his dorm. He's going to... Uh, he, he's basically heading off campus for a little bit before going back to his dorm. Where are you headed? I will text it. I'll, I'll just say the ruins of his original place. How about that? Just okay. taking, taking himself to go over there and bringing cigarettes along. Pray. Oh. It is. You all, at some point choose to sleep. I assume. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to settle it on the travel map. Just as a frame of reference. But it is the next day. You wake up to the sound of birds wake up to the sound of people starting to wake up to their classes, starting to go up to either deciding not to go to classes or realizing that they slept in too late, even though it is still far before breakfast starts. Or they just want to go to Daybreak Town. As Where are you at 7.30 in the morning? At 7.30 in the morning, um... At 7.30 in the morning, finding somewhere I can be caffeinated. How strong of a caffeinated beverage do you want? Big! <laughs> With the money There's... you have, I'm pretty sure Daybreak's Cafe can suit you just fine. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go treat myself to all the all the espresso. <laughs> Definitely looking crusty that early in the morning, though. I'm just setting up for. ahead and place yourself on the map. The front bar is usually where the early birds get their mo get their caffeinated beverage, but you can sit forever. I want access to the caffeine. <laughs> I want to be able to drink one beverage after the next. <laughs> You certainly have the money for it. Oh, yeah. So, that's, that's what, what the cup video. are you on currently? 
I'm on cup three. The short, short haired, short white haired individual in a constant suit. You have seen this man many times. He's always in a suit, always white and black themed, looking like he's a walking chess piece. Finley walks up to you. He goes, No. You might want to slow down. It's only at 7.32 in the morning. And uh, Raz put, like, slams her fist down and says, That's the best way to start the day! Like, just already, already, like, kind of caffeined out, but not not planning on stopping anytime soon. <laughs> Places down a plate with sandwich and some fries. At least eat something. Aww. <laughs> if you if you insist. <laughs> and Cutting you off after five and walks away. I stick out my tongue whenever he whenever he uh turns his mag. <laughs> Saw that. Does anyone else want to go to cafe as early in the morning? My God. Uh, I guess I will with Subasa. Go ahead. I, I guess he also goes to sit at the bar. Just looks up as you walk in. Really big kid? Um. Just some breakfast is all. It's not there for coffee. Yes. And then so. just. It's fast. For some reason, does not seem to ask specifically what you want. Just it's past, like he already knows. Ra <laughs> Raz is is sorry. Yeah, no. So Raz is just staring at him, like, um, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Raz, who's been picking apart the sandwich, looks up. Like, did did I did I hear you offering uh, asking for breakfast? I would think so. We're not that far okay. from each other. Okay, I thought so. I just wanted to make sure. But <laughs> I hold up a piece of bread that I, I haven't bitten out of, but it is 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 pretty handled by now. Do you want this? Um, no, thank you. I'm good. <laughs> and then Raz proceeds to stuff as much of that piece of bread in her mouth as she can. <laughs> oh. Subasa just has the look on his face of, like, you know when you see something that you're not sure is horrifying? <laughs> he just watched someone shove the whole ass piece of toast in their mouth. He's just like, Ugh. don't, don't, don't choke. The and green bartender? Who is clearly a bartender more than they are they are a server. Just <laughs> green haired bartender. Man, I bartender. love when the students come in here when they're not even awake. But I am awake. <sighs> Points Raz. to Raz. Ah. <laughs> Just looks over at Raz. Oh, uh, right, yeah. I, I wave, like, mouth still full of toast, like, covered, like, mouth covered, like, in crumbs and nastiness. Very crusty right now. Crusty overall. <laughs> Tsubasa just Tsubasa. does a little wave back. 
<laughs> Vasa. Yeah. If you would have given an order, what would it be? Um. Sausage and pancakes. After about ten minutes, Ben comes back out with a plate, and you can smell it before it comes back to you. It is fresh. It is well done. And the pancakes are fluffy. Ooh. However, the sausage is more turkey sausage. <laughs> Sabasa is staring at the it's sausage. Just, it's just off from what you decided that you wanted. Yeah, he's going to look at it for a moment. And he, he's going to try the sausage first. Just buy this a sausage. Actually not that bad. Huh. It's just a little bit of a different taste. Interesting. While, while Subasa is eating, Raz is gonna try to scoot one seat a little closer. It, it's the begin it's the beginning of a of a <laughs> of a mission. beautiful friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Boss has only got 15 passive perception. I think it's safe to say he probably wouldn't notice. The scooch. Scooching away. Just scooching on over. The ultimate scooch. By the way, you both would know that this guy right here, his name is Hex. That's bitch. I didn't mean to do that, sorry. <laughs> Just a little bit of. Whoop. <laughs> Uh, Fucking hex, though. This guy is named Tens. Tens? Tens. Like ten with an S on it. Tens. Okay, I wanted to make sure. Putting it in my little notes. And if, I'm good, I'm... <laughs> and if somebody clones him, it'd be a couple of tens. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hex and tens. Hex. Oh. No, Ben? What happened to ones through nines? Yeah, nines. Hate you guys. <laughs> well, at least it's not meant to be. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. Uh... Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and down this cup of coffee and ta take another scoot. I'm dragging my plate with me, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lo I'm looking at what you got going on over there. <laughs> Just like, hmm, what what did what breakfast do you got? I think exactly. it I think at this point it'd be safe to say Subasa would notice, yeah. Yes. Yeah, he just looks over at Raz, just like, um, are you oh are you okay? I'm. I'm not just okay. I'm Raz. Hey, nice Raz. to meet ya. <laughs> <laughs> Sufa, he's just got that loading 404 look. Just. We're doing introductions now? Okay, um. Uh. Um, my. My name's Tsubasa. Nice to meet you. Basa, you like your you like your bread sweet, I see. I point at the pancake. I well, yeah, I guess you could call it sweet bread. It's basically the same. <laughs> you like coffee? <laughs> you like dad? 
You like jazz? <laughs> you like rats? <laughs> Tsubasa just shakes his head at the coffee question. He does not like Perfect. coffee. Perfect. Why is that perfect? You know, it's, a, it's a grand scheme. I got it going on in my head. <laughs> Raz has the kick agenda going. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... <clears throat> so what you're saying is if I bought you a cup of coffee, you wouldn't drink it. Um, no, I wouldn't. Perfect. <laughs> then I go I, I go to order him a cup of coffee. Savasa <laughs> <laughs> just looks at Hex just like just go ahead and give it to her. <laughs> yeah. It's all coming together. <laughs> Technically you've only been on your third or fourth, and he said after five he cut you off. Yeah, but now I have another source to tap into. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Roll charisma against hex. What uh, which one of us, Raz or me? Damn. <laughs> ah! So static. <laughs> That's just Hex's brain right now. <laughs> so I got a little bit spooked. Yeah, uh, you did roll a save, not a check, but nice job on that nat 20. My bad. It happens. I don't know how to work roll 20 yet. I'm still working on it. <laughs> yeah, when you've got the character sheet up. Um, where it says saving throws, don't click there for checks. Um, click on the names of the um, stats down the side of the page. Thank you. That works, though. I find it funny. We'll keep it. So, it is... Considering who Hex is, we'll keep it. Um, you manage to kind of stare down Hex, who is disapprovingly looking at you with that look of, I, I know what I said, don't do that, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> but you just kind of knife cat at Hex? Yes. <laughs> and it I'm seems not to make him go, God. I'm not breaking any rules here. <laughs> You're not. You're not. Fair enough. And gestures. And just goes to make you the coffee that he knows you like because he knows it's for you. Yeah. It's just like you Make not a perception thinking. check, both of you. Both of us. Mm. Both of us. Uh, well, that's not terrible, at least. How do I do it without doing a save? <laughs> it's a check. So, it wouldn't do a save. You have to click on the... You bring up your sheet and go down to Perception. You can't make saves with checks with um skills. Oh, okay. Sorry, I have a very tiny brain. A mood. You both notice this. Walking into the cafe is a tall man who looks very fucking tired and looks like he just wants to sleep. Hello, Hex. I'm... I... 
I don't want anything today. Just make sure no one talks to me. There's a nod, and he starts to walk, ignoring both of you. How this are you two's seems... reactions to essentially King of the Glooms walking into the cafe? Tsubasa is aware of it at this point, yeah? Even just two weeks in? Yes. Okay. Yep. Is uh, Raz aware, or...? Your second year, yes? Yes. R Raz would definitely oh, absolutely. be aware. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh... Uh, Tsubasa's going to be watching him, at the very least. Just like... Oh. I protect my fries with my arms. So how about that? Uh, <laughs> does he? That make you feel? <laughs> just Tsubasa, just like, does he normally come in here? X, who has already forgotten about the entire ordeal entirely, just goes, ooh. Him, the. the... <laughs> it, 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 he's. I don't know why Subasa over here is singing the Black King's name is like Voldemort. <laughs> he's but, a nervous baby. He's a very nervous baby, but he he'll stammer a little bit before, but just pointing in the direction of the Black King and the, just just like the, him, the 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 Black King. He's a customer. So he normally does come in here then. Every day, usually. Hmm. Is Raz still protecting her fries with her arms? Yes. The very long arms around the delicious fries that she has to protect. <laughs> you know, just after a bit, just um Raz, I don't think anyone's going to be taking those better to be safe than sorry and then I like take a handful of them and I stuff them in my mouth <laughs> out of curiosity what kind of fries are they? good <laughs> are they seasoned with anything? are they curly? are they crinkle? steak fries are they seasoned? obviously their potato is the important part Tsubasa, uh, is it visible on your face that you're nervous around Black King being here? It's obvious on his face that he's nervous, but he's just nervous. He's nervous in general. <laughs> yes. X looks at you, Tsubasa, and goes, You alright? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Just um, thinking, I guess. Well, it's early morning. No one's here. Give it a gander. <laughs> oh no, someone wants to listen to him? Ah! <laughs> you need a buddy. <laughs> Tsubasa needs friends. There's two bartenders there. That's literally their job. <laughs> that Part is of it, true. At least. No, yeah, no, Subasa just ah, fucking slaps a thing over, apparently. No. <laughs> Subasa, after a moment, just. Um. Well, it's. I, I mean, it's my first year here. It, there's a. There is a lot. A lot to take in, I presume. Yeah. Have you found yourself a friend? Um... Raz does a little wave. <laughs> Subasa glances over at Raz and is just, uh, I, I guess I did. 
Rax also glances at Raz? And then just smirks because I have a feeling Raz has come in quite frequently uh, during uh, arcade moments of just I'm going to binge this specific game repeatedly yes. and then just wakes up crusty. Yes, <laughs> you get it, you get it, he gets it. <laughs> so has seen Raz multiple times over the past couple of years and just you'll get along with her. She'll drag you around a little bit, but we'll get along. Alright. Don't worry, the a lot just gets a lotter. <laughs> a lotted time in the cafe after being in the arcade for hours on end, yeah? Oh, yeah. I drink like half of the new coffee. Zubasa in his seat realizing, oh, I am in for a ride, aren't I? A joy ride. <laughs> Question is, who's going to be having the joy? <laughs> That's an interpretation. <laughs> Look, it's fine. This is fine. But yes. What are what else are you guys doing? Eating. Because around this point, it is around the time when people would start filtering in for either club activities or getting away from classes as upperclassmen. Or as first years, just seeing if they could do the same. Was that specifically to Tsubasa and the... Yes. Okay. The, it's towards it's toward them of seeing if they want to leave the cafe after they're done eating because it is around 8, 8.15 now. Is um, around school hours. Yeah, Tsubasa would head out to go to class and everything. I think because Raz has now imprinted she would leave with with Tsubasa. <laughs> Raz has imprinted on the baby. Yeah, I, I try to get a coffee to go. <laughs> As your fifth one, you've managed to succeed in fumbling your way through this. So Hex just uh, fine and makes biggest it to grand, go. biggest sharp tooth, happy. Like, but this has made Rez's day. Because <laughs> I've been keeping track of how many you've had. Okay. <laughs> uh, that is your fifth one, and he's just, le he's unhappy about the fact that you've also been keeping track, apparently. She'll be, she'll be, she'll be back, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. But you've also left the cafe, so it resets. Delicious. This is great. It doesn't I reset love this. like walk in, walk out, but it resets. Yeah. Everyone else. Where are you? Around school school time. You do not have to be in a class. You can be Can wherever. Go off. Uh, I'm uh, Arthur was wanted to catch uh you a uh, before class to ask about the thing. Who? Gava. Fucking name. Gava? Gava. Fucking. Okay. Names. She is currently elsewhere on campus. You try and find her? Yeah. No one wait after class. You can try and find her. It's a low DC. She isn't hidden. All right then. Roll investigation. That works.
she is currently alone by herself out by the crosswalk where most students are flitting to and fro in the early wee hours of the morning before class because it's a very, very large campus. But she is just sitting there because she does not have early morning classes and she is a night owl. And she looks very tired. So put yourself on the map where you believe you'd be and drink rum. Okay, where are you here? I'm sure it's visible that very tired. Yes. She it, she looks visibly exhausted. All right. Quick walk in the front. Hey, who are you? Ava. She looks up. Oh, hey, you're the kid from the library, yeah? Yeah. So from, um, club. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just a bit exhausted. I don't cast that many spells. Oh, it's from the ex overexertion? Something like that. On the topic of that, what, what was that spell? It's... a spell that I'm not supposed to be casting on school grounds. Don't worry about it, though. Eh. <laughs> you said it was a fireball, but... It didn't seem like that. Yeah. I kind of got mad at my brother for something. It, don't worry about it. I'm kind of worried about it. It backfired on both of us, and we're going to be paying for it for a little bit. Jolt yeah. said no more grudge matches for at least a month between uh, the both of us, so. You got in trouble. That's the least of our worries. Uh, how are you doing, Arthur? Me? Good. It's been a little confusing the last... Four, It'd be two four, days for you. Yeah, 48 hours. She smiles. That kind of knowing smile of someone who was there for part of it. And just... Thanks. Yeah. I kind of get the gesture. First year is always tough. You learn too much, too fast. Thanks for the help in, in the cafe, by the way. No worries. Those guys jump to the quick of everything really fast. They're very defensive over themselves and of me. I... Uh, don't worry about it. Do you think they'll be worried about how you... You think they'll catch on about something you're worried about? Oh, absolutely. That's why I don't lie to them. I just kind of don't say everything. And she blinks. <laughs> it's kind of what you have to do when you grow up. You, the more you lie, the more it consumes you. Enough about wisdom, you know? You're the first year. Enjoy yourself. I'm almost in my fourth year. I need to... Relax. I'm almost out of this place, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, you can still have fun as a fourth year. Oh, please. The favory? I'd rather die. I mean, you just gotta be smart about it. Not how, like, I do it. You're smart, you're just... stupid. 
<laughs> he smiles in that way of, I know what I said. I get what you mean. But though, doing what you like, Master thought it was a fine thing to do, regardless of first or fourth. You're going to go to some very interesting places once you get out of here, and I hope it's to nowhere bad. Just don't talk to Killian about that, because he will absolutely wreck your shit. And I mean that with loving intent, because he's an idiot. Thanks for the advice. He's going to find you regardless, because he has the luck of the gods. Guess it's my, my luck versus his. Oh, trust me, if you have luck to outweigh my brother, I'm, I wish you the best. He got all the luck, I got all the smarts. I don't know what's been going on, it could either be... Either I have enormous luck, or the worst. That's about how that works. Why aren't you in classes, though? Curious about the, um, the spell. I don't think you should be involved in that. Again, something I've been hearing a lot recently. She squints. From who? I, mm, uh... As the brain has frozen. This is what's this is what's happening to him. People. Technically not a lie. You got me. God damn it. Fuck. Okay. Um, Yeva stares at you for a moment and just, people, huh? Means you got good people on your side. Not wanting you to get involved with things that could hurt you. I guess so. Seems like I'd get myself in a lot of trouble either way. That's bad for business. I don't know, it's pretty good for my business, but... Uh, and what's your business, Arthur? Being the most curious motherfucker around. Well, the library's your best bet, then. I guess so. You're, you're really not going to say anything about... Nope. Oh. You really don't? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Guess I should be heading to class. Is what he said. If you want to go to class. That was yeah. out of character, if you want to go to class. Yeah. I'll see you later, Yeva. Ye Ye whatever. There's got to be at least one of these names that everybody trips up on. Apparently for you, it's Yeva. It's the Y and the V. All right, so is there any particular class you're going to, or just class in general? Uh, 
Deep Blade Basics, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's one of the ones I wanted to do. All right. Ilya. What up? Where are you at right now? Well, she probably got breakfast from somewhere and then skittered off to class. Which class are you going to? I'm trying to find... You give us a list, right? Yes. I can't find it, Lunos. <laughs> Send in the story First. descriptions. Yes. Thank God someone has a brain cell. Well, I mean, I feel like we all share the brain cell. It just bounces <laughs> from corner to corner. It's like, it's like the, the, the DVD like uh, screen where it's almost going in the corner and not quite. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, if it ever goes in the corner, to we're going to lose it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you also don't have to go to your class. You can go visit someone else's. You know, make friends. Yeah, make friends. Do friends things. I'm enamored by the idea of Helia sitting in on one of the first year classes to observe the children. <laughs> See how they fail the keyboard basics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna follow. <laughs> yeah, I'm going where Kate's character went. <laughs> She's going to observe the children. <laughs> The funny part is, Helia is nothing but an enthusiastic, I believe in you person. So, you guys are going to kill me for this. Go for I'm it. I'm gonna steal your kneecaps. <laughs> I need to set it up, but you're going to see who it is and you're going to kill me for it. Mic on. Because Keyblade Basics takes place outside. Because some motherfuckers like to try shit and summon a Keyblade. Oh no. <laughs> My god. So they've just determined, okay, we're gonna stay outside. We'll just put this class outside. I feel really bad for this. I really do. right token.
So when I pull this this up, I want you guys not to yell at me for the token of the teacher. I physically can't see the shot, see the thing, so I can't. But depending on others' reactions, I might. At this point, I'm just waiting in suspense. Just opens a fucking token. Lunos. Lunos. <laughs> Blue nose. <laughs> Bad. You know what you did. <laughs> One tell me who it is. <laughs> it's because of the person I used it for last time. Uh, Broker's sister. Mm -hmm. My cough. Oh, you heathen. <laughs> Want me to drag my thing in? Yeah. I guess it's the... Uh, 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 here. Kelly is back here observing. <laughs> I think I think Valkyra would be here too. Yes! My boy! <laughs> so I need to recover from you guys just going Lunos at me <laughs> it's not that bad Lunos But it's funny. It is. So, as you're listening in about Keyblade Basics, you realize that this teacher is extremely enthusiastic about making sure that all of you use your Keyblades correctly and please, for the love of God, for the love of Keyblade Jesus, stop, stop, stop doing what you're doing, Killian, we've gone over this many, many times, stop summoning Keyblades in the middle of heated discussions, it's not going to work as a battle tactic, it's just going to get you hurt, and Killian just, whatever, Meanwhile, the rest of the group just starts to giggle. Because Killian has gone through basics several times, hasn't failed it, but after Desiree has made it a point to bring has made it a point to bring him back every semester as an extra class to get it through his thick fucking skull. To you know Make sure he understands it, and he hates it. <laughs> and she has made this very clear of, you know, if you just understood what I was saying, you wouldn't be here right now, Kills. Just listen. I just... I, I got it under control. I even got another Keyblade. That doesn't mean you know how to use it, hon. You're just as bad as Miss Syra. And they're just going back and forth, and you realize that this is pretty much how it goes for the first Two. couple of weeks. Talking Three. about Keyblade Four. Basics Five. and using one of the people Nine. as an example. Arthur. Yes. You recognize the person to your left. 
It's she okay. was in the cafe. Yep, that yep, is yep. L. Yep, L. She's also Lawrence over there. Correct. There are other people around, but there's only the notable people that I have on board. Because there are several new people in the first year. L is... But you have learned from the cafe class secretary. Whatever that's supposed to mean, at least. And she just looks over at you and kind of half smiles. Just... You should get used to this, you know? Those two bicker back and forth constantly. It's like they're family. Mm, that's nice. Is it? it takes away from everything we're supposed to be learning. I still stand by what I said. It's nice. I could probably teach this class better. Desiree stops. I love how you're all judging by the fact that she's the, it's the broker's sister token. <laughs> you have fucked up now. We we remember what happened last time. <laughs> Dr. Desiree steps back. She goes... Skills. L, I want you to show everyone else exactly what it's supposed to be with training key plays, not using your own. With when one of you is disarmed, then we'll start actual discussions. You guys can do that, right? You can hold your own. And they both just look at each other with that look of, oh no. <laughs> These are two upperclassmen with their keyblades <laughs> or, that are being told to have their training keyblades again. <laughs> There is complete silence over the current plaza. Julia, how's your reaction to all this? Julia voice, yeah, this might as well happen. <laughs> Valkyr just has the reaction of, oh no, not again. Is it with upperclassmen? Goal. The audacity people have to challenge the teachers. Kids are full of chaos. And the Looks directly at you. Walk around and find out. Looks directly at you, Helia, with that look of, no, I hadn't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> the tiniest of eagles and just head on his shoulder like, I'm cute, right? <laughs> Just the heaviest of size, just... <sighs> nothing has moved. No one, nothing has moved. It is completely tense. Neither of the upperclassmen have decided to make a move yet. Uh, both of you that's on the board roll insight. Insight. That's high enough. Um, you realize they're not doing anything because 
they hold a begrudging respect for each other. If they start to fight, it won't end until one of them is actually unconscious. This is not a grudge match. Is it begrudging respect in that sense of I'm not fighting you because if I fight you, one of us is going to end up on the ground and it might be me from both of them. <laughs> Incredible. It's the Sora and Riku energy. Incredible. Do either of you step in and do anything because everyone that has been watching is just waited, waiting with bated breath to see two upperclassmen fight at the command of a a Keyblade Basics teacher who just got told that they aren't doing their job well. Maybe, I don't know if this will work at all, but can us three just like sleep, 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 sneeze loudly? <laughs> if Arthur sneeze on like. Man. Sure. If Arthur does something like that, Helia is going to laugh quite loudly. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll allow it for the bit. <laughs> you sneeze really loudly and then just jump from L and just look, turns to look at you, which breaks the tension. Hey. And, Des and Dr. Desiree just... Alright. Since both of you aren't going to start anything... Steps forward. How about we get this show pony on the road? And begins to talk to all of you about how very basic keyblades work. About how usually you start out here, the academy training with a training keyblade that is meant to channel it as an extension of yourself. It is meant to channel what energies you have through something of a focus. It is whether you cast magic or not, though most people do, at its very core, a keyblade is a focus. It is a channeling method through which your energy finds its basis. Sure, you can use it to stab or hit or throw something across the room. It is very good at what it does. But most people use it as a channeling focus. At the end of the day, a keyblade is an extension of oneself. But anybody can use anything for any particular purpose, should they find the need to. But Dr. Desiree sort of sighs and goes, You know, I have this feeling that keyblades are going to end up coming nah she washy must be exhausted and she's like what no just the no don't worry about it that's for fourth year stuff it's like oh god you suck There's a smirk on Dr. Desiree's face. It's just like, ah, look at the time though. All that rambling. It's been about 45 minutes. I don't feel like talking that much more. And you realize, yes, she's been talking for about 45 minutes. A pure lecture on just how Keyblades are an extension of oneself. Like, you guys have the rest of the time to do as you please. 
Rain as you see fit. Thirty-five minutes. Wow, that didn't seem like that. Even Killian seems a bit taken off guard and just looks over here and just leans against the building. Just, ugh. The woman always seems to take up the most amount of time with the least amount of information. Is it always like that? Alien looks up. Uh, not always. Only when she's tired. Okay, she must have been tired today. Maybe. You could have also not been seeing her brother. She gets a bit wishy washy. And just kills enough talking about me. And just ugh. So Arthur will not press that. Look here, just the grimace emoji of just woo. By the way, when you train in this class, you can technically, it doesn't give you a buff per se, but it does give you some practice with your first weapon. Mm -hmm. it, depending on how much time you spend in this particular class, you do even if it is a general class, depending on how many times you come here as a choice, you number of roles to master your auto switch on your first weapon. All right. I was, uh, was going to walk up to the person like, hey, have we met before? No, no, that's fine. Yeah. Which one? The, the, the pink. They look up from what they were taking out of their pocket, which was a little handheld device. It looks like a, it's not quite a gummy phone. For lack of a better term, it looks like the Kingdom Hearts equivalent to a Game Boy Advance. Just. Oh, um, no, I don't think we've met yet. But, um, hi, I'm Sarah. Name's Arthur. <laughs> That's my name. Are you new here too? Yeah, I'm uh, first year, Sam. It's confusing these first couple of weeks. Yeah, it's like no, not a lot, a lot of knowledge. I'm just trying to get settled in and trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be, who I'm supposed to be talking to. Apparently there's this girl on campus who is, for lack of a better term, or what term everyone else calls her, queen bitch. Queen bitch? <laughs> Philia's close, to, close enough to hear that there's just snorting laughter. <laughs> <laughs> You're close enough to hear it? But it's one of those things of it's said in that tone of someone who doesn't know quite how to swear. <laughs> Just like forehead on Valkyr's shoulder, like giggling, like, oh, it's a baby, Valkyr. <laughs> Just a confused look back at the two that have been observing this entire time. Like, did I say something wrong? Was I not supposed to say that? 
<laughs> Julia looks up, waves her hand, and goes, No, 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 you're a good kid. Keep it, keep it up. <laughs> oh, okay. And looks back at Arthur. Yeah, there's, there's a, there's a lot of people that I'm supposed to meet or not meet or, you know, talk to. And recently been talking to the headmaster. She's really nice. Really? Yeah. There's a lot of energy, though. I, I get really tired really fast. Oh. That's me. I've been talking to almost everybody. I envy you. Just raises a, a fist of just like the sad, like, uh, introverts unite. Uh, have a look. Because I envy you. I don't have that kind of energy. I can barely go to classes this this much. And that's fine, as long as you get used to it. So, who have you been talking to that much that you've been running around all over the place? Because I can kind of tell that you're frazzled. You know, I met, I mean, I met, actually, I kind of know almost most of the people in this vicinity. Like, half of them. Well, that's really cool, actually. Did you meet them outside of the class? Oh, well, one of, yeah, two of them. One was in the club, though. Though I haven't met, I technically haven't formally met, um, what was it again? This is on purpose. The uh, one with orange hair? No, no, no. Gillian? Gillian, yes. Just looks over towards uh, Gillian, who is, has gone from sitting down on the ground to just You know when that meme of someone who has that meme of just help, help, but like it's it's less help and just a wish to not exist energy. It's mm -hmm. Killian right now. <laughs> so you look over at him for like half a second and you just oh. I haven't formally met him, but I know his his sister, twin. I've heard a lot about those two. Apparently they start grudge matches with each other all the time. Yeah, I was one I witnessed one yesterday. Oh really? How was it? It seemed very playful. Like they weren't going completely all out. nice. They're just having fun. Not really a grudge match, though. Yeah, but they did get a little in trouble. And as you begin to start truly talking about the previous day's events, you hear the chime of a distant clock tower signaling the end of the hour. Well, that seems like it's the end of the class. Yep. Yeah. Should probably get going. Yeah, same. Talk to you later. What was the name again? Name's Sarah. Cool. Talk to you later, Sarah. Yeah, of course. It was a pleasure meeting you. And same to you. Arthur is collecting friends. Yes, I am. So, the rest of you, where are you going? What classes would second years have this early in the day? It 
depends on how you scheduled yourself. Like, I just, I say this jokingly. This is a joke because this is technically a collegiate area. Which I is don't why know I what say, where means, are you? Yes. Understood. College, you schedule your own classes. Oh, okay. So wherever you put yourself is where you go. Usually college is more than, it's more two to three hours than one hour, but this is more fun. Um, I pro I probably walked uh, Su Subasa to his class, and then if I had any of my bard cl bard related classes in the morning, I would prioritize those. The druid stuff I kind of slack on. <laughs> you want to know the fun thing? Yes. Want to know who the bard teacher is? Who? Doctor Cytus. <laughs> yeah. So, I think the fun thing about that is, I I don't think we need to run much of it because I want I want you to run a couple of roles for me because <sighs> Doctor Saitos. He's a very fun teacher. So I want you to roll charisma, then performance, then no reason in particular, survival. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Killing it. <laughs> so you succeeded. You have three rolls for the single check is I su succeed at a cost thing that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Half of those succeeded. So you go into your bard classes and you are you the first one there or are oh, you kind yeah. of the middle? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm if there's time yeah I'm the first person there I, I'm I'm ready to go I'm I'm, sh I'm shaking with the power of, of espresso do you want to talk to the teacher uh, I, I probably don't start conversation with the teacher but but I'm, I'm hanging on to every word she says <laughs> You listen to a song being tuned and played to on a, it's not quite, you know, you know those old guitars that have like more than six strings, but they're, they're not quite 12, 12, they're just really old and they're meant specifically to play the harder songs. Yes. That's what Dr. Saitos is playing on, sitting on the edge of her desk. As everyone starts to filter in, you are the first, caffeinated to high hell. And you actually bring yourself to stop when you take a few steps in. Because despite the melody being up-tempo, it's very soothing, and she se doesn't seem to have noticed you yet. Well, I shuffle in. I find I find my spot, and I I, I, f I feel I feel the jitters kind of like you know recede a little bit because the the little part of my brain is start is starting to smile from the music.
What is Raza's favorite tune to play? Favorite tune genre of music. Genre. Um. Something that's upbeat, easy to easy to dance to. Uh, every time I think of Raz, I, th- I think of uh, like Bad Boy, and every time we touch, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, terrible. <laughs> yeah, the worst. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that, all I, I can think, think of is butterfly. <laughs> oh shit! You know what I mean, though, right? You are my butterfly. <laughs> I think I do. That really stupid meme song. Mike on. Well, are we talking about the DDR song? Yes. The I, 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 I'm your little butterfly? Yes. Yeah, I know that. Yes. Yes, I know that. I just, I, the yes. fact that that is being called a meme song now hurts my soul. Because it is. It is wasn't when I first started hearing it. There's no good answer to give that without sounding mean. All things to be turned Do it. Memes. Fucking do it. I dare you. <laughs> Well, if we're going by that logic, a lot of old songs should not be meme songs. Does anybody else want to go into the bard classes for today? Because that that up-tempo beat can be slightly heard from outside the room. Bosses in his own class. <laughs> you're, you're in class. He's a good uh, student. So <laughs> Mike off. He's a good boy. But, um, how's? Yeah. After Saitos eventually stops playing not abruptly stops playing, but draws it to a close and looks up. I didn't notice you there. You did you sneak in? I mean, I wasn't trying to sneak in, but <laughs> here we are. <laughs> you are one of my students, yes? I believe yes. I recognize you from other other times you've been in here, yes? Yes. Uh, Raz, yes? Yes! <laughs> and, and, like, <laughs> Raz is visibly getting more excited. <laughs> you have the potential to become something great. I feel it. Uh, that's what that's what we're shooting for. <laughs> good. It's good to have a goal. Better a goal than a grudge, I suppose. For now. <laughs> There's just this soft chuckle. She's like, I wouldn't know. I'd have to talk to my brother about that one. He has a grudge against everything in existence. I can understand that. <laughs> Siblings get messy. <laughs> oh no, he's... He, Someone gave him a gun, and he just decided to shoot something, and he found <laughs> and he fell in love with it. I don't know why that would ever be a thing you decided to give an 18-year-old. I mean, we could look around the school and answer that question a few times. <laughs> Again, why would you give an 18-year-old a gun? I, the answer still stands. Yes. Then just starts to giggle, like not hysterically, but just. <laughs> uh, if only my brother would ever step onto the academy grounds. Uh, fucking hates this place. I'm not allowed to swear. 
teacher, whatever. <laughs> I won't tell. <laughs> sure. <laughs> These students record my classes and things I don't hear it. Fine, it's fine. I'm going to make this worse in a second. It's funny because I go through one of my uh, upperclassmen and actually, you know, get recording so I know exactly what to teach next to trip him up. <laughs> get him. <laughs> Old of you to assume he's not paying attention. Oogie woogie woogie bitch. You're playing, you're playing a deep game. You're playing 4D chess with <laughs> Dr. Saitos. You're playing, well, you're playing 4D chess. I'm eating the 3D pieces, bitch. Let's play this game. Is the student a problem? No, not a problem. I, I've actually found it quite entertaining. You know? Okay. Strategy, I guess. Okay, okay. <laughs> My friend, uh, you're a second year, yes? Uh, yes. Uh, then you eventually, if you haven't already, as I know second years like to start their whole, well, I can go wherever I want thing. Eventually you will meet my friend, Professor Holmes. Professor Holmes? Yes. It is keyblade training. How much would I how much would I actually already know about Professor Holmes outside of You would have been to Professor Holmes class at least at least once, if not up, up to five times already. Because Professor Holmes is a very eccentric teacher. Goes by she, her, or he, him pronouns. Very flamboyant, though seems to know just about everything that happens in his classroom. Like, the type of person that a pin could drop in an, in an excitable classroom and he'd know exactly where it was. Okay, okay. Well, chances are, if I, uh, if, if Professor Holmes is eccentric, Raz would have already been on it. <laughs> been in it. <laughs> the, 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 the high energy is kind of what she thrives off of. So. Yeah. All right. As well, people start to filter in, Dr. Saitos winks at you. As in that kind of knowing manner of, if you ever want to talk about anything, just let me know. In that kind of teacher way of, I'm always my my door is always open, kind of energy. Yeah. Raz then... kind of, kind of grins with the, wow, she's so cool, <laughs> kind of, kind of energy. <laughs> then begins class as everyone settles in and begins to give lessons on basic pair of of instruments though instruments are not necessarily necessary as you use keyblades no just <laughs> i just saw that You know for a fact it's the vice headmaster who's saying we all have to keep a professional air about us Juliet in the background fuck <laughs> pretty much yeah <laughs> <coughs> and if he gets on to her about it she will do she will make fucking eye contact with him and then just go fuck Just do it more aggressively. 
aggressively with absolute firmness. Fuck. <laughs> she really is the Tristan of this universe, and I want you to know what you've done. Are you fucking surprised? No. Just know what you've done. I know exactly what I've done, and I have no regrets. Keep that in mind. You wouldn't do that to me, and I know you wouldn't. Would I? <laughs> no! You're nicer I, I than that! <laughs> On the other hand, he would. Uh, the other non essential characters? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Listen. Uh, so. Oh, jeez, it is already nine. Yeah. You can technically go to 9 30 if you want. Just fuss around for the next. 15 minutes if you want I personally opt out of that because I've fucking been vocal this entire time and damn near passed out you're a sneaky boy Curry's exhausted himself Curry's exhausted from the situation he's gonna have to do tomorrow oh boy okay. good luck Oh, uh, well, if we are... Are we going to be ending the session here, then? Yeah. Alright, I will go ahead and 